I'm here with the number 78 Southwest Tour Truck driver. And is that your mess right there that we just saw? No, that is Johnny DeLuca, the number seven late model. He had a little problem with his brakes today and uh, and a tranny, so that's that's his mess. Mine's uh, My stuff's over there. I was gonna say, if that was brakes, I would love to know what happened there. Um, Rocket Ronnie Davis right here. Sorry, I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, that's what we're gonna interview at the back of his head. Oh, okay. So, this is my first interview of 2011. Awesome. Uh, believe it or not, I don't do interviews often, so I usually have to come up with questions on the fly, nope. and that's what that's when you come in and answer <laughs> them. So we'll just continue on with an interview. Sounds um, good. This is cool. Um, dirt track racing, they do that at other tracks, usually not here. Yeah, I uh, I made a couple adjustments to my truck, and I shouldn't have made them, as you could probably obviously saw. It was uh, it was out to lunch, but uh, we held on to it, and it wasn't too bad. I'm used to driving a loose car, though, so it's all good. Yeah, you're putting on a show there. I mean, everyone was loving you and Neil Conrad duking it out, and you guys actually swapped lines, tried everything different, and then I think the loose finally got to your truck, and he snuck on by and started gaining on you, or actually distancing from you. Yeah, he, uh, well, he had the, uh, what's it called in basketball, the illegal pick, which is, uh, you know, a lapper that comes up on you and uh, totally shuts you off. Well, yeah, I, well, he was inside of me, and I couldn't get by the lapper because the lapper was right in front of me, so after that, I just kind of, I couldn't get by him, so I just put it on cruise control. That's true, and that's one of the best things. Now, this was your first race of this year, correct? Uh, first race here this year, yeah. Um, I ran the uh, last race here. It was the uh, the mixed race we do with the super trucks and the speed trucks, and then uh, we, I ran a couple. I ran Boy Throw in the year, and we ran uh, Willow Springs. But uh, we're coming back here Memorial Day, but I won't be here. I'm going the river. I hear you on that. So I gotta wonder, out of all the tracks that you circuit on, which one's your favorite? It's between Blythe and here. Yeah. Uh, Blythe's fun just since it's a challenge. But here, I just I love being able just to hold it wide and you know and just go in hard and the speed. yeah, the speed's a lot better here. It's a lot it's a lot more. Uh, it's a little bit more exhilarating, but Blythe Blythe is a little bit more challenging because it's uh, you know it's kind of like a D shape and but here is one of my favorite places. Have you ever had to deal with a new website? No, I am um, kind of uh, not very computer savvy. I'm learning that I'm not that way either. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Rocket Ronnie Davis. Bud Light sponsored uh, Southwest Dura Truck, the number 78. Anyone you got to thank real quick before we hang up? Yeah, I got to thank uh, Dura Freight Lines. I got to thank uh, Miko Services, Air Innovations, RPMLounge.com. Uh, my dad, my crew, uh, Brian, Mikey Kel Paris, Stevie Kel Paris, Barry Kel Paris, um, Air Innovations. I think I said them already, but I'm going to repeat myself because I've had a couple beers. And uh, my wife, because she's awesome. All right, that's the number 78 of Ronnie Davis, and uh, have a good day. Talk to you there. Goodbye. I'm going to go scare Joe one more time. Watch this. <laughs> I was going to scare you again, <laughs> but you saw. Damn it. Damn it. Joe, why do you look so tired? Work a lot, man. <laughs> don't don't day. sleep yet. Somebody's got to do the work. <laughs>